do you know in between the refrigerator and the wall we maintain few distance or few gap do you know what is the reason hi this is vijay welcome back to my channel techno education academy in this video i will give you brief idea about uh, uh, what is the reason why we are maintaining a few distance or sufficient space between the refrigerator and wall so first of all uh, i will give you brief uh, introduction of uh, working of refrigerator then you can easily understand so refrigerator it will work on second law of thermodynamics according to the second law of thermodynamics uh, energy uh, can not uh, transfer from lower body temperature to higher body temperature without giving any external work so we know that energy is always flow from high grade to low grade okay for example we are considering one example uh, in earlier morning we all are taking breakfast okay at that time uh, we uh, take our breakfast with a cup of tea okay so uh, this cup of tea it is available at uh, 45 degree or 50 degree celsius and whenever it is exposed in the atmosphere say at that time after sometimes you feel that okay the temperature of the hot cup of tea okay it should be become same as compared to the atmospheric temperature means this hot cup of tea it will reject the heat to the surrounding means energy is always flow from high grade to low grade but according to the second law of thermodynamic if you want to transfer the heat from lower body temperature to higher body temperature so at that time we need to do some work on the system then it is possible so in a refrigerator okay it's work on second law of thermodynamic it will extract the heat from lower body and it will reject the heat in higher body so at that time we need some work we need to do some work on the compression okay so basically in a refrigerator there are four component here we are considering five component receiver compressor condenser receiver expansion valve and evaporator the function of the compressor is to increase the pressure of the refrigerant okay because we required the pressure for the circulation of the uh, vapor refrigerant in the cycle so this compressor it will increase the pressure so uh, the outlet of the compressor is high pressure vapor this high pressure vapor it will enter into the condenser okay you have seen that the condenser uh, means it is a one type of heat exchanger and it is mounted on outside of the refrigerator okay one a uh, large size coil is there it is called condenser and it is uh, mounted outside of the refrigerator okay and the function of the condenser it will reject the heat to the surrounding okay so in a condenser okay uh, we maintain a sufficient gap 2.5 to 5.5 inch so uh, there is a proper circulation of the heat because uh, in condenser there is a rejection of the heat to the surrounding okay so condenser means it is a one type of heat exchanger it will uh, reject the heat to the surrounding okay so uh, the function of the compressor is to increase the pressure so by default temperature is also increases okay but our objective is to reduce the temperature in the evaporator okay so this high pressure uh, vapor refrigerant it will reject the heat in the uh, surrounding through the condenser okay then outlet of the condenser is high pressure liquid vapor mixture and it will enter into the receiver receiver means uh, it is a uh, vessel okay it will collect the refrigerant then after this liquid refrigerant high pressure liquid refrigerant it is uh, supplied to the expansion valve the function of the expansion valve is to expand this high pressure liquid whenever we expand the gas at that time volume of the gas or we can say the volume of the refrigerant it will be increases and the pressure it should be decreases and pressure and temperature okay both are proportional okay whenever the pressure it will be decreases so at that time temperature is also decreases okay and this low pressure liquid uh, vapor mixture it will enter into the evaporator okay evaporator means nothing else it is our freezer so uh, in which uh, there is a exchange of it there is a latent heat will be transfer latent heat means at that time temperature remain constant and there is a change of phase it is called latent heat okay so the evaporator is generally made by aluminum and copper okay which has a higher thermal conductivity okay and it will exchange the heat and the low pressure liquid refrigerant it is converted into low pressure 
vapor and this low vapor, low pressure vapor it is again supplied to the compressor and again the pressure is increases and this cycle is continuously repeated this uh, refrigerator it will work on vcr cycle vapor compression refrigeration cycle so i hope you can understand okay why we maintain a few gap between the refrigerator and wall because outside of the refrigerator okay there is a condenser coil and this condenser it will reject the heat to the surrounding through convection okay we have already discussed there are three mode of heat transfer conduction convection and radiation okay so in a condenser okay surrounding of the condenser atmospheric air is there okay so uh, uh, whenever the uh, coil of the condenser it will reject the heat okay at that time the temperature of the surrounding air it will be increases and we know that in case of a fluid fluid means liquid is also fluid and gases are also fluid so in fluids whenever we increase the temperature so a density it will be reduces so it will become light dense and it will move upward and high dense particle it will move downward this mode of heat transfer is called convection so for better performance of the condenser to reject the heat to the surrounding okay some uh, space is required okay for the better performance of the condenser and refrigerator okay so this is the reason okay we maintain a gap between the refrigerator body and wall so i hope this information it will be helpful to you if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also press bell icon for more video updates